I've tried six times and I was hopeless. Now when I pass, if I pass, I'm going to drive out of Preston and see my girlfriend. When I pass, if I drive Brian, I think he'd be a terrible passenger. Right, are you going to do as you're told when I get you out there now? What do you want me to do, fly? Just, just do so as you're told and get out there, please, you for once. Get, get in the car, properly. please, and shut Each up. year, over a million people take their driving test. Most of their tuition time is spent not with instructors, but with friends and family, pushing relationships to their absolute limit. We'll go up the bypass today, God help us. Start up, start a car up, no, no, no. Let's go. Right, remember the children, into gear. What's that car? You're not gonna pull out. You missed it. Thank God for that. Maureen Reese's bus driver husband Dave lets her loose on the family larder. Maureen has already failed her test six times and spent over five thousand pounds on lessons. Right? Right. Left. In the first. Oh, no, it was a car coming. I can see, dear. That's all right, I told you don't panic. Start the car up again. 80% of my income goes on for my lessons, because I'm not determined. You must be dying for her to pass, Dave. Yes. Absolutely. <sighs> now I'm coming up to another Round the corner, yeah. another couple well, are I'm driving there, each other to distraction. Well. Brian Rodwell won't let Slow Joan down. drive their 14-year-old Datsun. He reckons they're both safer if she learns by watching him. Joan's been relegated to the back seat. So then what should I do when I get down to the bottom of here? Uh, which way are you going? I'm going left. Left. Right. Slow down, make sure there's nothing coming. Turn your wheels towards the right, into the right. You turned left. Right. You turned left. Huh? You turned left. I said I was going to turn left. Well, I take her out, right, on on the road, like, show her what what to do. Oh, he's all right, really. Um, I I I am learning from. Well, I point the out the road signs and that too, don't I? And the different types of roundabouts and yeah. more or less to read the road. So then what should I do when I get down to the bottom of here? Uh, which way are you going? I'm going left. Left. Right. Slow down. Look both ways. Make sure there's nothing. Joan hopes her nine grandchildren won't have passed their tests before she does. After 110 lessons, she takes her third test this week. These are all my grandchildren and I would love to be able to go around and pick them all up. I think I'll need the lorry. I suppose really I, I've got to prove something as well. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, imagine taking this lot off the bus. <laughs> No, you're in wrong here, don't. I'm in top, i got to go in top. Over. Right. That's it. After him now. No, 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 no. no. There's a car. No, 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 no. He's no, moving no. out. No, He's moving out. Well, of course he is. He wants to go. Mine's another car. There's too coming. many cars coming. Too don't, many don't, cars don't coming. Keep off the curb! I told you to slow down, didn't right, I? Right now. Whoa! Whoa! For Christ's sake! What's the matter with you? Bloody what did you do that for? The I can't get over there! The car was up your ass! I could have been off! No! What did you do that for? I could have been off!
Right, no pass. No pass. That's it. I could have been off in the first place, you silly no, son. No, the car I could have. What are you watching? You're doing a slow down. I'm getting in now, my man. I could have gone. All right, now. slow down. Dave works nights at the bus depot. After today's dance with death, only one word can describe how he feels. I'm oh, oh, horrified because I thought I was going to die. Well, both of us. And if I hadn't have grabbed the wheel when I did, we both would have been dead. At the local police station, Maureen earns £4 an hour as a cleaner. One driving lesson leaves her little change from five hours' work. As you can see, basically, this is my main job. Toilet cleaning, corridors, odd jobs, the bowling alley, etc, etc. That's why, if I have the chance to pass my test, which I desperately want to do, I want to go into business on my own. I, I want to change. I want to be a freelance cleaner, but not industrial like this, I'm at houses. Hello, Joan. <laughs> How are you? Hello, Paul. Not too bad, thanks. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Ooh, Joan is on her last lesson yeah. before her test. Paul Farrell is her fifth instructor. Excellent. Okay. Thank goodness for that. That's a nice move off. <laughs> right. Where are we going? End road turn right. Right. Here's part of my collection of. 400 odd toy cars, one of which is, is priceless to me. In fact, it's the only one that's all scratched up, so you can see that it's been very useful. You'll see on the roof there's a steering wheel, which directly links the front wheels. So really, very sharply, let's pull back on. Every week, Maureen spends five hours practicing, but can only afford one hour with her instructor, Linda Clark. What's the speed limit down here, Mo? 30. What are you doing? I'm on 30 now, but I was 32, between 30 and 30. You're going to get a 40, I think, Mo. <laughs> what we're going to do... That's not my car. Joan Rodwell. That's not my car, We're going to drive past that road on the left there. <laughs> pull up and stop, and reverse into it, staying reasonably close to the curb. Right. Now, my philosophy is, if you can do this one, you can do anyone. Oh. Mm. Right, we're going to practice the reverse around the corner today, Mo. So tell me, what type of corner is it? Downward. Upward, sorry. Well, it goes, yeah. it's fairly yeah, it's flat, flat really, yeah. isn't it? It's a corner that's more. Yeah, but is it a sharp corner? Is sharp, it yeah. It? Well, I wouldn't have said, no, Mo. Sharp. Today is Joan's last chance to master the trickiest of all manoeuvres, reversing round a corner. Now hold the steering mode, don't oversteer, little move the car, isn't mm. it? It's like baking a cake once you've thrown all the ingredients in, it's too late to taste it. That's coming out lovely, isn't it, Mo? Yeah. Gentle. Okay, then, stop. Thank you very much. That was rather good, actually. <laughs> That was. God, that was my really heart and soul went into that. That was really rather good. <laughs> okay, stop by there now. Beautiful. That's oh. the same distance as when we started. <laughs> so you're really picking up now. You're getting the understanding of what I'm you're sweating. doing, I'm sure. Yeah. And it's not by luck or judgment, it's by proper <laughs> planning. Yeah. It? yeah. My wife's packing bags of screws over there. If she works hard, she'll, she'll make about two pounds an hour. As a driving instructor, I don't earn much money. Last year, it was, it was under 8,000. Um, the only way I could increase my earnings significantly would be by going solo and not using the agency. Uh, one option would be going to partnership, and I would do that with Pam. Oh, look who that is. That's Pam down there. Yeah. What I want you to do, actually, mm. if you draw alongside that red fiesta on the left, yeah. and we're going to use that for parking practice for a moment. Right. Hello, Pam. Uh, Have you been stood up? Yeah, it looks like, and I'm not getting any reply. Yeah? How, How are, are you doing? You? All right. Well, not so bad. Not working for yourself yet? 
Not yet. I'm giving it some serious thought, has to be said. Mm. Give me a ring with your thoughts. Okay, I'll do All that. Right, yeah. In the meantime, can we reverse behind your car? Cost you, but go on. Oh. Okay, Joan, take it away. Pam Carr and Paul Farrell once taught at the same driving school. Pam's gone solo. She's a sharp business operator with a strong eye for presentation. Uh, this is quite a nice skirt, but I don't know whether it would be a bit big, and I'm not used to pleats, but I like to be comfortable in the car when I'm teaching. Yeah, it probably would be good for work, because I've got manoeuvrability in it, haven't I? Yeah? Right, Joan, in a moment, when I give you the signal which is stop, I want you to stop promptly under full control, imagining somebody steps out in front of us. Bear in mind that the road's a bit slippery. Stop. Have an open fruit, Paul. Okay. <laughs> oh, excuse me. That's my phone ringing. This is always happening like this. Yeah. Just a moment. Good afternoon, Streetwise Driving School. Pamela Carr speaking. Hello, Danny. It's driving lessons you're after, I presume. Um, have you driven before? No. And uh, how old are you, Danny? Seventeen, just had your birthday. Danny's in love, and like all teenagers, he's itching for independence. He's rather keen to escape his dad's organ recitals, too. But right now, the only thing on his mind is his girlfriend. Bye, Dad. Trouble is, Gillian lives 200 miles away. For a non-driving teenager, there's only one way to get close. I want to learn to drive because I want to be like free. It would take me out of the last phase of being a kid or a teenager child. It would feel like it would be the next step into adulthood. Is that Gillian? Yeah, it is. All right, my lover. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Cold. Maureen's revising for the new theory test. She hopes her 400 lessons will help her with tomorrow's exam. I'll probably pass before you. So I'm going to drive up to you and take you out somewhere nice. You can drive along Blackpool front. Oh, yeah. I'll <laughs> look at the lights under the stars. Say so anything to say to me? No. Go on then. Well, like. I'm actually lost, mate. A lot. <laughs> Good. I love you loads. Bye bye. Bye. As the long suffering Dave gets back from his late shift at the bus station, Maureen's still mugging up. They've already spent the price of a brand new larder on lessons. She can't afford to fail. Oh, yeah, I do. Hello, Jen, are you? Do you know what I did? I called my late down there last night. Oh, you poor thing. Mm. All I want to do is go to sleep. How do you always get this bed in this? Somebody oh, been in here with you? Yes, how do you know? I got the milkman in. Mm. Learning to drive is keeping everyone awake. I met Gillian last July when I went on holiday and when I passed my test, if I pass my test, one of the first journeys I'll do is I'll drive back to Preston like a shot and be with her and we won't have to rely on the coaches anymore. David, it's no good. We can't go on like this. Oh, no. I've got to do it. Please. Oh, I'll oh, I don't tell you, but I want to... Well, how do you think I feel? 
Yeah. It's not me who's seen it, Tess. I've got four, the two of us are driving before oh, that. Right. Look, I'm absolutely shattered. Oh, please. I'm in a cold all night. Look, now I'm nearly in tears. I've got to do it. In windy conditions, you need to take extra care when passing pedal cyclists, using the brakes, taking the hill, st making a hill start, turning into a narrow road. Passing cyclists. Oh, I got that one right in the name. You are braking on a wet road. The vehicle begins to skid. What is the first thing you should do? Release the brake fully. Quickly pull on the handbrake. Push hard on the brake pedal. Put your foot on the clutch. Release the brake. How can you tell when you are driving over black ice? Your steering would feel light. It would be easier to brake. You are driving at the legal speed limit. A vehicle comes up quickly behind, flashing its headlamps. Should you accelerate to maintain a gap behind you, touch the brakes to show your brake lights, maintain your speed and prevent the vehicle from overtaking. Maintain your speed. Wrong. Allow the vehicle to overtake. Streetwise drive the school, pump the car speaking. With 20 Lovely. pupils, Thanks. Pam's business, Bye. Streetwise, is in rude health, but she's looking for a partner to share the load. Paul's a nice guy. I've known Paul for a number of years. Um, we worked in a big driving school together. Um, I'm a little bit ahead of him now because I'm working on my own. It would be nice to have Paul work alongside me, but I think he's frightened of making the step of being on his own. Um, it is a big step, but uh, he's got a family, whereas I've got no commitments. But Paul's commitments aren't just to his family. As a Christian, it's, it's our duty to give back a tenth of our earnings to God. Sometimes it can be very difficult. We've got a, got a mortgage, got a wife, a child, that eat lots and lots. And it can be very difficult, but I kind of feel it's something that I must do, something I want to do. I think he's a bit scared of going solo, you know. But if I could get him to be streetwise, just like me, it'd be very nice. Got some fairly interesting pupils: nervous, batty, unpredictable, quite elderly sometimes. And they're generally women, has to be said, in the automatic car. Maybe they. They've had five or six instructors previous to me and that last instructor said, I'm sorry, I don't think you're going to make it. Um, however, why don't you try an automatic? And they thumbed through the yellow pages and, and there I am. Now, whether the name Streetwise will appeal to these people, I'm not so sure. For each question, you must find the right answer or answers. The written test is Maureen's first exam in nearly 40 years. It's multiple choice, 35 questions in 40 minutes. Five mistakes and she fails. Fall at this first hurdle and there'll be no driving test at all. All right, so if there are no questions, you have 40 minutes from now. Off you go and the best of luck to you all. Into first. Danny's drive for freedom Settling begins today. Got yeah, that's all right. Yeah. Yeah. Rather than yeah. dab it, just squeeze it like a sponge and just yeah, a little bit mm -hmm. more. Let's see a nice little hum from the engine. That's it. Now if you bring your clutch up just till you hear the tone of the engine change. And feed still. That's it. Clutch down a bit, clutch down a bit. Oh my life. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my life, you did move the car. We won't steer into the van, we'll leave the van alone a little bit. And we're actually going to turn right, some mirrors, and signal up for right. <laughs> right. Now don't accelerate, just come off the clutch. Off your clutch. 
Daisy, left foot on the floor. Right, now off the gas. When you round, when you straight, then you can accelerate. Yeah, my little phrases, I've got you be hearing a lot of those. Um, AP ankles, left foot on the floor. It's halfway through the exam and everyone else has gone home. Maureen, however, is finding it tough going. Now put your signal on for right. Up for right. Whichever way you're going to turn your steering wheel is the way your signal goes. Right. Down for left, up for right. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay? Logical. Mm -hmm. A woman invented it. <laughs> well, I think so. If it wasn't, it should have been. <laughs> I Into cannot, first gear. I cannot see past that truck. <laughs> Little bit of gas. Who's that guy? He's an examiner. <laughs> Sneak forward, clutch him a wee bit. Okay, I'll check your mirrors. Nobody's on your tail. Now you're round. Now you're clear. We can change our gear. So clutch down, off the gas. Second. Clutch back up and then back to the gas. Oh, that was really smooth. That was good. As Danny ends his first lesson, Joan begins her third test in the automatic micro. Paul sits in for spiritual support. Right, my name is Pete. What would you like me to call you? Jen. I'm Jen. Oh, okay, Jen. Joan. Mm -hmm. The tests will last for about 30 minutes. Okay. All right, mm -hmm. try along when you're okay. ready. revving away because you're in neutral Joan put it into drive what's the matter here? come on Joan get a grip get a grip Joan just try and relax and go through your checks and think what you've got to oh, do yeah. Just try and relax a little bit, Joan. Just sit back, just relax, just for a few seconds. Yeah. Think what you're doing, Joan. Because if he has to tell you what to do here, you failed the driving test in the car park. Right now, just think what you've got to do. Right. Start from the beginning. Right. What I've done then, wrong. Well, I expect I just uh, put it wrong too much. Then we're turning to the right out okay. of the gate. Yeah. I'm sitting here at the moment waiting for the results of my theory test, and the suspense is really crippling. It's now half past ten, and I'm praying in another half hour that I'll have the envelope that says. I've passed. As Bob Munkow says, I know I'm a sinner, but God, please make me a winner. Now, when you get to the traffic lights, turn to the right, please. Um, sorry, I, I just missed what you the traffic said. lights, turn to the right, Joan. Yeah. You're you want turning me to, go to the straight right. straight ahead? Yes. No, we're turning to the right at the traffic lights. Oh, sorry. Right. This is a new scheme to me. I was t recommended back remedy, so I'm going to take a drop now to calm me down. You're supposed to have an eye drop full, but what I'll do is... There's a red car there, looking at door mirror. Show them that you can see it. Let's go a bit faster to get clear of it. Oops, that was close. What time is it, Mother? Time now, it's just turned quarter past eleven. Yes, a little bit dull now. 
rifle shortly I shall ask you to carry out an emergency stop now this mm -hmm. will be the signal stop I won't ask you to do that again. Thanks. Drive on now, Joan, when you're ready, please. Mm -hmm. Try and relax a little bit if you can. Right. I feel really gutted. Oh, I'm not going to try anymore. Sorry. It's too many, too many people involved and money. I can't keep going all the time. I'm off with holiday next year. I can't afford it. i got to have a break. It's getting me down. I tried. Why me? I'm just a bloody idiot. Would you stop your engine now and take your seatbelt off if you wish? Well, that's the end of the test, Joan. And I'm pleased to tell you you've passed. Oh. Go see your driving oh, license again. Oh. <laughs> oh, thank you. I can't. <laughs> I can kiss you as well, but I can't. You'll say. make my wife jealous. No. <laughs> this is not fair. Well done, Joan. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. <laughs> oh, hello, Paul. It's Pam here. Hello, Pam. I've just had a phone call and I'm ringing you straight away because I think this might be just up your street. I've found, or they've found me, should I say, a pair of twins, a boy and a girl. They fancy a bit of an intensive over the Christmas holidays and so forth. Yeah? So if you could just sort of uh, help me out, and we'll talk a bit more detail later. Just to remind you, I'm going to have the boy, and you can have the girl. Okay? Okay, speak to you then. Now, take care then. Bye! Streetwise. Streetwise. But the big question is, will the name Streetwise appeal to my more mature people? Next week on Driving School, will the love-struck Danny be able to concentrate long enough on his lessons? Joan's back on the buses. She buys a car, but bottles out. It's time for the twins to meet Pam and Paul. And Dave continues to steer Maureen away from disaster. Whoa! Whoa! For 